Hi, so in this video, we are going to discuss some of the points regarding to logistic regressions. The first thing that we will talk about is why do we need logistic regression? Uh, what are the cases that linear regression was not able to solve? Now for that, we will consider this model uh, where we have the age of a patient and the, then we have a possibility if it, they will be uh, having a coronary disease or not. All right. Now the age of the person can be anything. Okay, it is a numerical value. It it is very continuous value. It can be anything from one to hundred, considering last person living is hundred. And then we have uh, the possibility of having a coronary disease, and the value for this particular thing is going to lie between zero and one. Uh, for example, they may have a disease or they may not have a disease. Okay, so there is nothing in between. So if we are plotting a graph for this, then we are going to have a plot like this, which will which is clearly showing that it is very uh, rare in younger people and it is very common in elder people. OK, so uh, there is no straight line that can pass. Yeah, so it's very clear that uh, if we are performing a linear regression, then linear regression just generates a straight line right and there is no possible straight line that can pass through all the data points hence we need a different solution okay so here the straight line is not an option so what we are looking for is something like an s curve okay the curve like this so we need a curve like this uh, to fulfill the needs of our particular problem and uh, uh, we will talk about threshold later. So how do we get this S curve? Now the process of getting this S curve is very mathematical and the good thing about th this method is that you don't have to know it. Okay. The only thing that is actually important for you is to know the result, which is this equation. Okay. Because th this is the equation that we will be using throughout the course uh, whenever we are requiring logistic regression, but still we will uh, go through the mathematics uh, just for the sake of it. Now the odds of a particular event happening okay so the odds of particular event happening whose probability is p are given by this equation this expression okay p upon 1 minus p now if we take a natural log of this e expression it will be log to the base e and we have p upon 1 minus p right and this is also equal to logit expression of p all right and this is also equal to this expression now in logistic regression we all we do is we just equate our simple linear regressions equation with logit of p okay the log of odds logit is expected to be linearly linked to the independent variable x okay and then what then we just perform a very simple mathematical equation uh, mathematical operation where we just replace this logit with this uh you know derivable term okay so then we uh, now we are just performing a simple mathematics uh we uh, take anti log and then we just when we solve this expression this is the expression that we get okay this is the expression that we get and p was the probability remember p was the probability of a particular event happening okay so since p was the probability then it is very clear that this equation is going to give a value which will lie between zero and one okay this equation is going to give a probability of event happening right and the hence the value is going to lie between zero and one and this is the expression that we get and this expression is also known as the sigmoid function okay the expression is one plus e key power minus z we will write and z is equal to b naught plus b1 x1 okay uh yeah so this is the equation and when we plot a graph for the sigmoid function then we get a then we get this very beautiful s curve which is exactly what we need to solve our coronary disease kind of problems okay now the thing about this is that the curves like this are going to give a value between 0 to 1 okay they are not going to give only 0 and only 1 right uh, when the value is zero we know that the person is not having disease and when it is giving one we know that person is having a disease but what do we do when we have values between these two points for that we have a threshold line now uh, ex when we specify a threshold line we just make it very clear that if a point is lying above the 
threshold line then we will classify that point as yes and if a point is lying below a threshold line then we will classify that point as zero so uh, this was about the threshold line and uh, yeah so uh, till now we discussed about a simple linear regression right with one feature if we have multiple feature we will just we will just you know in place of z we will keep this line okay we will keep all the expressions so basically this is why so this is uh, in place of y we are just writing z okay so that is what we are doing and with this we comes uh, we come to the end of the logistic regression the major takeaway of this video is going to be this function okay just remember this function this is going to be very useful